Hey, what is going on guys? This is Killoke, bringing you guys some gameplay, some sniper gameplay with the XBR-50. And to be honest with you guys, I didn't really get any gameplays that were that impressive last night. I'm still getting used to the game, and I'm still getting used to the way that the guns feel and everything like that. And I feel like that I could really unlock some better guns. I know that I played some combat training last night with the last gun, that you, the last assault rifle I mean that you unlock in the game. And that gun is the absolute beast. I already saw like 130 kill gameplay with that, so I feel like whenever I unlock better guns like that, then I'll start to do better and have better map knowledge and spawn knowledge and all those things and better kill streaks. But I'm just bringing you guys a pretty chill out, chill, chillax, chilled out gameplay right here with the sniper. And sniping in this game is actually quite a lot of fun. I heard a lot of things on YouTube about it being overpowered, so I figured, what the hell, why not try it? I, I do like sniping, I do enjoy sniping, and I really do enjoy this animation whenever you crawl around the ground. I think that, like in Battlefield, I think it looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. And, I don't know, I used to, pro I probably think that that looks gay, because kids would just crawl around on their little bellies and camp, but, I don't know, it looks pretty, pretty badass, if you ask me. But, the first thing that I want to talk about in this game is the disadvantage that I've got from other, or, set by other YouTubers because they got the game early and they're already going ham. So a lot of YouTubers got the game like a week early. They started playing combat training and then two days before it came out they started playing multiplayer and they already had gameplays before I even got the game. And <laughs> I kind of like feel like an idiot now because I said that that's not a very big deal and that I will come back but I kind of wish that I had got it early now because I feel like that I would already be better at the game I would already know the maps better I could have played combat training 24 7 and just memorize the maps memorize the choke points and the spawns but it's all good I'll catch up to you guys don't worry and uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is the kill streaks in this game now they are very hard to get you notice that I'm using I don't even remember what it's called it's like the VTOL something something VTOL something is my last kill streak and I have <laughs> I had it on like super early I don't even know why you unlock it this early because you don't really have any other kill streaks that are going to lead you up to it that well you notice I have a UAV the lightning strike and then the VTOL so the UAV is not really going to do much of anything to lead me up to that and the uh, lightning strike is going to get you like a maximum of three kills usually maybe four if you're really lucky but yeah so I could add better kill streaks on to lead up to the VTOL but what are you going to do got to work with what you got so that's what I did, and I start to camp a little bit more, start to play a little, little bit more passive, and I think that's going to be a lot of what this game is about, because sometimes it seems like I'm killing people in 3 and 4 shots, and then sometimes I have to 12 shot people, and then I'll throw a grenade and they still won't die. So, I don't understand it. I guess I just need to work on the lag a little bit and the hit detection, but what, what are you going to do? It's in every single Call of Duty, so it's not really too much to complain about there, but... Uh, yeah, the next thing I really want to talk about is spawn trapping. So, I noticed that in a few of the maps, the spawns are really strong, and you have to really push the spawn to get them out of there. So, I noticed that pretty much they'll kind of spawn like right in front of you. Uh, on that map that's like the boat, you could definitely spawn trap the crap out of them at A. And I'm kind of going to, I think I'm just going to call it out and say that that's going to be like one of the new G spots, where you're just going to be able to absolutely destroy kids. And right there, I pick up my VTOL. So I did use a uh, another primary, but I only got two kills with this gun, so it's not too bad, not too bad. And my teammate that was already level 55 in this game play because he got it early. He already has his VTOL and he was going ham. So yeah, that's kind of uh, what what I was talking about with me having a disadvantage. Cold side of pillow already got 100, uh, 100 not 100 plus, but he got 100 kill game. I think he went like 106 last night. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Kudos to him. And I know that in like a week or two or three or four or even a month, I will get 100 plus. I'm not going to give it up. I'm just going to keep trying and trying to get better and better until I can potentially reach that 100 plus goal. And I think it's going to be pretty sick. The kill streaks in this game are freaking amazing. I'm not going to lie. Like this VTOL right here, I think they shoot it down pretty quick. But if they didn't shoot it down, then it would have gone ham. And uh, I know that the dogs in the swarm, just if you get that and you can still stay alive and uh, you have ghosts and whatnot, then you can definitely go on an absolute tear. I played some combat training last night and I set the game uh, to 12 minutes in domination like it would have been in Modern Warfare 3 instead of 10 minute timer. And I got like 230 and six, I think I went the first game with that uh, assault rifle that I was talking about. 
so I know whenever I start to get uh, better map knowledge and just getting a good lobby and stuff like that and we can control the spawns and everything I will definitely drop 100 plus but it's just kind of uh, getting used to the game, the game, the way that it feels and all that stuff that I'm just gonna have to work on but don't really know too much what else to talk about in this gameplay I'm really excited for Black Ops 2 guys it's finally here no more Modern Warfare 3, no more death streaks or EMPs or fluke ass stealth bombers this game is going to be amazingly balanced and I've already enjoyed it a good bit I'm not gonna say that I'm like amazing at it like I will, was pretty good at Modern Warfare 3 definitely not amazing but I'm getting there and I will get good gameplay soon enough guys don't you worry that's pretty much the end of the video though I hope you guys did enjoy it and I will see y'all probably later today I'm about to hop on right now and get some gameplay so I'll see y'all later